Filip Hergovic has the demeanor of a young Vitaly Klitschko. He's very stern, mean looking face, talks kind of like Vitaly Klitschko as well, even fights a little bit like him. He kind of sways back from punches as a defense mechanism. Just 26 years old, he's from Croatia, currently 8 0, 6 KOs. He was a top amateur, also fought in the World Series of Boxing, actually lost to Joe Joyce in the World Series of Boxing. However, him and his team say they're ready for the Joyce rematch right now. And Joyce, apparently, and his team, Sam Jones, they're not so keen. They're looking to go in a different direction. At this point, they say the time is not right for that particular fight. But here against Gregory Corbin, Philip Hergovich did not hang around at all. He was landing right hands almost immediately, sharp shots. Gregory Corbin was way, way, way too slow to get out of the way. And Corbin tried to move in on Hergovic. Hergovic caught him with a very short right hand. Impressive how he, he managed to get such a short right hand off. Kind of caught Gregory Corbin on the ear, or maybe just behind the ear. And down he went, disorientated. He got to his feet, but the referee decided he was in no condition to continue and waved the fight off uh, very, very quickly. It was at one minute of the first round. So yeah, good performance by Hergovic. Corbin obviously was disqualified in his last bout against Charles Martin, and he was taking a beating against Martin, truth be told. He went into survival mode. He started, you know, doing all kind of illegal tactics and got himself disqualified there. Here, he didn't even get the opportunity to do anything illegal because Hergovic caught him with that right hand, dropped him in the first, and that's all she wrote. So, yeah, another good acquisition by DeZone and Matchroom, Philip Hergovic, because, of course, Frank Warren... Matchroom's main competitor in the UK. He's been signing some very good heavyweight talent. The uh, the Rio 2016 Olympic silver medalist at super heavyweight, who I just mentioned, Joe Joyce, has been signed by Frank Warren. Warren's obviously got the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury, and a couple of young guys in Daniel Dubois and Nathan Gorman. So Warren is building up his heavyweight stable and... In order to stay in the running, I know Eddie Hearn's obviously got AJ, but in order to stay in the running for the next generation, he's got to keep signing heavyweights, Eddie Hearn. Yeah, so right now he's got AJ and he's got Dylan White. You need more than that, <laughs> you know, so Hergovic is a good acquisition, although Hergovic is co-promoted by Sauerland. So uh, anyway, impressive by Hergovic. I like what I see from him. Accuracy, punching power. Speed, mobility for a big man, very Vitaly Klitschko esque, you know, that stern mentality. And if you've watched his interviews, he's very uncompromising and straight talking in the, in the interviews. <laughs> Again, which I like, very much like a young Vitaly Klitschko. I'm not sure why they've got his weight messed up here on Boxrec because he weighed in at about 241 against Corbin. I saw the weigh in. And they said 241. Somehow they've got him at 225. So not sure what that's all about. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about Filip Hergovic's performance against Gregory Corbin. Who would you like to see Hergovic fight next? They're obviously trying to move him at a pace. Would you like to see him pursue that Joe Joyce rematch? Uh, because they fought, they fought the first time in the World Series of Boxing, which is kind of a semi-pro type situation. Uh, would you like to see him fight I don't know, anybody in the top 10, top 15 right now? Or do you think they should take it slow with him? Do you think there's no rush? He's only 26 years old. Let me know, people. It's happening. I'm out. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week, covering a wide variety of controversial topics, as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about £2 a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. 
It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.